my hair has grown so much in this year it's all the way down to my butt almost and i had a lot of requests asking how i grew my hair so quickly and other requests were just like do your hair routine i thought of combining both so i'm gonna do like eight hacks on how you can have your hair long and healthy and while i'm explaining all these hacks i'm going to insert some footage of my hair routine so you're going to get both on this video are you excited let's start this the first thing before i start numbering the hacks is that i just want to disclaim here that these are not like i'm not a hair professional so these are things that work for me i have very very dry hair so these techniques work for me and if you have like oily hair or something different you need to try to adapt or maybe these techniques won't work for you please don't come for me if you're a hairstylist i'm just trying to do my own here so okay so let's jump into the hex So first hack is to wash your hair only two times a week. Every time you wash it, just like the skin, whenever you're washing your skin or your hands every day, they get so dry and the same thing works for hair. So if you wash your hair every day, I know a lot of people have to, it dries a lot of your hair and takes their natural oils. And honestly, for me, two times a week is enough. But if you have oily hair, you probably need more. There are also dry shampoos that can help, but I honestly think two times a week is like. The second hack is give your hair mask some time. And what I mean by that is after I shampoo my hair, I wash it all up and I go to the mask, hair mask. So I apply my mask almost from the ears down and your hair mask needs some minutes to work. So what I usually do on a regular day is I apply my mascara and I leave it for some minutes while I wash the rest of my body. But if you have some time that day and if your hair is really damaged, what I advise you to do is just to apply your hair mask and then you get off the shower, put on a hair towel and spend some time just replying to emails or on your phone like 10-20 minutes and then go back to the shower and rinse it all off. I promise you it's going to do like miracles for your hair because the longer the mask stays the more like soft and smooth your hair is going to turn and the third hack is add even more mask so basically when i wash off my hair mask and i get off the shower take the towel off the hair is still wet and i apply just a great size of hair mask from the middle to the bottom especially on the ends of your hair this was an advice that a hairdresser told me once and it changed my life so i want to pass it all to you so you apply it while your hair is still wet and you leave it like that you don't wash it off you can do hairstyles you can dry your hair you can do whatever you want and it just stays like that and helps give shine and just a smooth texture to your hair the fourth hack that i have for you is the rule of one hairstyle between washes so if you're using like a flat iron or a curler it's going to damage your hair so try to use it only once between washes like for example today i straightened my hair with a flat iron and since i did it today it's going to be like this until i wash it again i'm not gonna curl it or give it another texture because that's only going to damage it more so it's going to be straight of course you can do another hairstyles like ponytail or half up half down whatever you want to do but try not to change the texture like adding curls or whatever so try to choose what you want for the next two or three days and just use one hot iron or the flat or the curler and stay with that texture until the next wash it's not that long it's just like two or three days and if your hair is really really damaged what i advise you to do is or leave it naturally with your natural texture or just blow dry it and don't use like hot irons or i have a really cool technique that i do sometimes which is while your hair is still wet you can braid it into french braids like this and during that first day 
you're going to look cute with the french braids and that's a hairstyle on its own but then you sleep with the braids and on the second day you can take them off and it's going to be like super curly and cute until you wash it again that works so well for me and if you don't know how to do french braids i'm gonna do a video on that very soon now the hack number five is don't brush your hair and i know when i talk to like friends and family about this everyone is so like surprised and don't understand how i do this but for me i always done this and i don't understand how people can do it otherwise so when i say don't brush your hair is not like don't use a brush ever but when i brush my hair if i brush my hair dry it gives a lot of volume to my hair that i don't like because my hair is so voluminous so that's one of the reasons i don't brush every day i just use a brush when my hair is wet i brush it after i do the little grape size mask trick and then i brush it when it's wet and i don't brush it again and i know a lot of people brush their hair every day but for me i just don't understand the necessity because if you apply the hair mask and you brush it while it's wet it's going to be very soft until you need to wash it again so you don't need to keep brushing every day i promise you you're not gonna need it and Sometimes a hairbrush can do a lot of damage and like break your hair into pieces. And the hack number six is to oil it. Oil it every single day. So oil just like hair mask is going to be your best friend, your hair's best friend. So I use oil every single day unless I forget it. I remember when I have like blonde hair because I used to have like almost platinum blonde and my hair was very damaged so i would put so much oil so much oil it was actually crazy i will waste like a bottle a bottle of oil so fast because i will try to like recover my hair with lots and lots of oil and that's what helped me to get back to healthy hair so if it's very very damaged go crazy on the oil it's better if you have like an oily looking hair but healthy than a really damaged hair that looks normal okay now the seventh hack it might be a little controversial because i always heard that if you want your hair to grow you need to cut it cut the ends and it will grow faster honestly for me it doesn't work like cutting one or two inches or three inches to see if it grows back faster it's a lie for me it doesn't work at all so the seven egg is don't cut your hair and when i say this i'm not telling you like don't cut your hair ever even if it's so damaged and broken and with split ends that's not what i'm saying but honestly when i really want to grow out my hair what i do is i keep looking at my ends and if i see that they are like splitting and you honestly see like the hair splitting in two or if you see like a little white dot at the end or if you see they are kind of freezing or turning lighter like kind of blondish they are probably dry and damaged and if you see that on your hair you can take them off literally at home that's what i do i will probably do a video of me cutting my own hair like i usually do but honestly you just take the ends of your hair and if you see that they are damaged in some way you just cut the damaged part just the damaged part i promise you you're not gonna even notice when you're looking into the mirror it's going to seem the same length but it's going to be so much healthier so the final act the eighth act is just to be patient and this is the most important hack of them all this length comes with time your hair grows with time so you cannot rush as much the hair process of course these hacks will help but your hair just needs time to grow for example i've cut my hair like around the shoulders two years ago more or less because 
I don't know, I just wanted to change. It was the first time that I cut my hair that short. Never did it before. It was kind of scary, but I really liked the length of it. It was something different and I'm so into hair change that I really advise you to try to do it. It's so fun. Hair is fun to play with, with colors, with styles. I really liked it for a while. I really enjoyed that length and that hairstyle. But after some months, I was just like, <laughs> I want my long hair back. And of course that will happen to you too, because it's normal. If you have like a cool hairstyle, you will love it. But after a while, you will have to go to that weird process of growing which is very hard there are going to be moments during the process of growing your hair that you are going to hate your hair because of the weird length that it gets in that moment it's crucial if you want to grow your hair longer or if you want to cut it again because a lot of people when they feel like the hair is in a weird size they are probably going to cut it again back to the shoulders and that way it's never gonna grow out so you need to understand if you really want to have your hair long and if you do you need to be patient and understand that it's going to be with all these weird lengths throughout the process I really hope these hacks help you. Everything that you want to ask me, ask me on the comments and I will make my best to reply to every single one of you. So if you like my content, you like hair videos, beauty hacks, whatever, I promise a lot of cool stuff are coming. So hit that subscribe button and the bell button as well, otherwise YouTube is not gonna notify you when I post. I love you guys, see you next time.